close your eyes and gather around the breath. All your attention, all your thoughts should be with the breath, focused on this one area. Everything else you can let go, because the mind gains strength when all of its activities are focused on one thing, and that one thing is healthy and it's skillful. So make the breath comfortable. Make that your focal point. And as the mind works on this, it begins. all the different parts of the mind begin to work together, doing something good. And this is how we develop good qualities in the mind. Mindfulness, alertness, concentration, discernment. They come when the mind is working together on things. If the mind is at working at cross-purposes, part of the mind wants to do this, part of the mind wants to do something else, nothing gets done properly. We're monotasking here. The problem with multitasking is the tasks get done, but they don't get done well. When you monotask, the, the task gets thoroughly done as best as you can do it. This, in Pali, this quality is called jitta, I mean intentness. You really give your heart to this. Give your full attention. As you breathe in, think of the whole body breathing. There's not one cell, not one atom that's not involved in the breath. Hold that picture in mind. If you're going to use the meditation word, butto, saying though, every cell in your body is going butto, butto. There's harmony in the body, harmony in the mind. This is what allows the oneness to gain strength. And then you can take this mind that's been well developed and you can use it for all kinds of things, all kinds of good things in life. Because you've developed that habit and you've developed the skills that go along with being focused on one thing to do it well. We're not just going through the motions, we're actually looking carefully at what's going on and making decisions. So this requires the whole mind. You're not just doing one thing over and over again without noticing what's happening. You have to notice what's happening and make little adjustments mid-course so that things go well. So bring all of the faculties of the mind to bear on this one task, and they all get strengthened. Otherwise, you're like a person who goes down to the gym and just exercises his arms or his shoulders or whatever, and they get way overdeveloped and everything else is scrawny. That kind of body gets out of balance and none of the parts function well. But when everybody functions together and every part gets exercised, that's when you're really strong. The same with the mind, all the faculties of the mind, your thinking faculty and your awareness faculty and your observation faculty, the questioning faculty, all these things get brought here and strengthened here if you put them to use. So put them to use right now on this one thing and they learn to work together. And that way you get the full benefit of what they can provide.